Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate three different magnetism phenomena. Uh, the first of which is an electromagnet. An electromagnet, the way that it works, you just need a battery, uh, something to connect your battery to to complete this circuit. Uh, what I have is insulated wire, so it's just wire with a coating around it that is not a uh, conductor. Uh, and then I have an iron nail uh, that is a central core. Uh, what you can see on the nail itself is I've coiled the wire around repeatedly. Uh, and what that's called is a solenoid. And so when you have an electric current that wraps around a nail, uh, what you end up producing is a magnetic field. And so you end up with one uh, end of the nail that's uh, like the south end of a magnet, the other end that's a north end of a magnet. And so what you should be able to do is when you connect this thing up, uh, you should be able to uh, wait a moment, uh, touch the paper clips that are magnetic, that are um, contain iron, uh, and you should be able to lift them up. And so let's give this thing a go. Uh, so when I connect this, if I just give it a second here, what I should see is that uh, that electric current flowing through the wire, and again, wrapped around the nail as a solenoid, uh, I should be able to, to lift up these paper clips. And so then again, what you're seeing with this phenomenon is a, an uh, electric current produces a magnetic field. For the second demonstration, what I have is a setup uh, with paper clips that are attached to a D-cell battery. Uh, this housing is just to hold the battery in place exactly where I'd like it. Uh, what I have again is coiled wire uh, that is insulated uh, as it's wrapped around in a circle, again kind of making a solenoid. Uh, and then what you see is the ends of the wire, those are no longer insulated. Uh, and so that's just uh, copper that's exposed. In the background here, what these are are just some neodymium magnets, some just rare earth magnets. Uh, and so what's gonna happen here is when I put uh, the coiled wire uh, on the paper clips here, uh, this is gonna complete the circuit. And so once I've completed the circuit, uh, what's gonna happen is again, uh, the electric current that's flowing through the circuit is going to produce a magnetic field uh, because of the solenoid. And if I have a uh, magnetic field that's being produced by the magnets, uh, what we can do is turn electrical power into motion. And so that is uh, what happens with an electric motor, is you turn electrical power, electric current, into um, mechanical motion. And so let's see if this thing works. Uh, these things can be very finicky, and uh, the way that you get these things working uh, is just a little finesse moving the magnets around uh, just right. Uh, and what you have to have is a lot of balance with that solenoid. Uh, sometimes if you give it a little turn to start it, it can help, uh, but sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Uh, and so a little bit of finesse is what I would recommend. A little bit of uh, rebalancing the solenoid if things don't work exactly like you want. Uh, but it looks like I finally got the hang of it here, sort of. The third demonstration I've got for you here is called a magnetizer. Uh, what you can do with a magnetizer is plug it into a wall, run an electric current through bar magnets uh, or through horseshoe-shaped magnets, and you can uh, produce magnetism in an iron-containing substance. Uh, the way that this works is normally you have uh, electrons that are just kind of arranged every which way uh, in iron, and when you run an electric current through them, you can arrange all the domains uh, of those electrons in the same direction, and then your magnet ends up with a north end and a south end. Uh, to show you how this works, uh, you would first just take uh, the magnetizer, you would plug it into the wall. Uh, then what you can do is turn it on. You can put your U-shaped magnet, uh, or you could put uh, three of these uh, bar magnets, uh, like such onto the magnetizer, and then you just hit the uh, button that says magnetize. Uh, when you hit that button, uh, what occurs is it just shoots some electric current through there. Uh, and once you've done so, again, you should have the bottom two uh, bar magnets that are magnetized. Those domains of those electrons have been aligned. So if I were to take the magnets now, I should be able to connect them uh, to the a metal cabinet of mine, and it will stick. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video on different magnet uh, phenomena, different magnet demonstrations. 
If you have any questions, you are welcome to stop by uh, during our virtual office hours, uh, or you are welcome to come in during any period 1A. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.